right, I'm back up here at the little water generator turbine. Um, you can see it's just plugging away in the background. <laughs> Still going. Uh, I do have to occasionally come up here and unclog the line. I still haven't really fooled with the uh, intake, getting it any more, uh, getting it to where I can filter it. <laughs> what it needs is the end. Well, let's go up here and I'll show you. Okay, well, right here, this is my intake pipe. And you can see there's really nothing special here. This is just a piece of pipe in the water with the end of it open. Now, every now and then you'll get a leaf or something that will cap its way over it. Hmm, it's got a lot of suction on it. But a lot of times it'll suck the leaf right into it. And once it gets down to the other end, it just kind of shreds it and throws it out the nozzle. Because the nozzles are not super fine. So that is my intake. I need to work on that. I'm actually going to put some screen wire around it and probably drill some holes in the pipe. That way there's uh, room. Okay, had to get a better foothold. That way there will be room for the water to flow in in different spots and it won't let stuff come into it. But that is my intake pipe. Okay, that's the end that uh, sucks in the water, I guess, gravity feeding. And you can see it just goes down the creek, and it goes off that way, and it, uh, it's a good 30-foot drop, I'd say, from here. Something like that. Anyway, let's go down to the other end again. Okay, first off, a couple of things. Uh, from my old video, the last one that most people have seen about this, uh, okay, there were some comments, and they were good comments because they were suggesting rocks underneath of it to avoid erosion. I didn't have that many rocks to start. I did have a bunch of rocks there, but it's like this first layer. And I came up here today, and I was fooling around with it and stuff, and rewired a little bit. You can see the pipe going down through there. You can see that this pipe, well, it goes down through there. But this pipe does not go the same direction it did before. It used to go up that way. Well, there is a reason why I'm running it a different direction. I'm running it this way, obviously, to go somewhere else. I want to take this AC three-phase 24 volt uh, AC three phase coming out of this is going down through this pipe and it's going somewhere else. Now I haven't got to that yet, but I'm going to show you a couple more things uh, to address some of the comments. Um, one of them was that the water splashing on the alternator would ruin the alternator quickly, and I agree it would have, but. This is something else I had to change out. Uh, I had a butter bowl cut and fit on here. Like an old butter tub, I guess. And it uh, keeps the water off of the alternator. And you notice it's not splashing as much out this way. I've got stuff shoved in there. But I got a little piece to deflect some of that. And, I mean, it's been running all this time. It's clogged up and stopped a couple of times, but as far as the alternator goes, it's, it's been running fine. Um, and that is because I, I did cover it. I did put a cover over it. I changed this out today. Now, this is new. It was a butter bowl. Now, it is a coffee can because the butter bowl was deteriorating. Apparently, it was the wrong kind of butter bowl to be using for this. <laughs> but you can see the water is running down onto the rocks and down into the creek that way it won't wash out all this dirt and flip the whole thing over okay now i'm going to show you what i'm doing and why i have redirected my wire 
instead of running it up the hill that way, I'm running it that way. <coughs> Dog just made a funny noise. Um, anyway, let's go down here and I'll show you what I did. All right, now I've made it to the other end of that line. You can see behind me, there are two solar panels, 100 watts each, so 200 watts of solar. And over here, we have our old familiar box, if you can see it right there. Okay, of course, here are the solar panels. And they are sitting, uh, as the day goes on, that shadow will go that way and it will be brighter and brighter sun they are tilted right now i'm going to probably build a different thing this is just kind of to try them out i've got them tilted toward where the sun is coming from uh it's probably wash out but yeah it's coming from up there and it's going to move on up here and once it gets up here like i said this shadow will be gone and it will be good for the rest of the day so later on in the day it will be more more or less straight up so i'm probably going to end up raising them a little more on this side but over here we have our box which you have seen before we have our box well we, we also have our dog <laughs> relaxing and another one over in the weeds right there anyway okay here's our box you notice I added another charge controller right here. This is for the solar panels. And you can see everything is hooked together. And going to the inverter. And, okay. This wire coming from the water generator. It's coming out of this pipe right here. And no, I didn't bury that all the way. It's laying in the weeds up through there. Uh... I didn't bury the pipe all the way. But here, this wire comes in, goes up to the rectifier, into this charge controller, and it is charging the batteries. It's hooked into this one. Now, the solar panels come in up to this charge controller. It's the MPPT, weatherproof charge controller. Comes back out and into the batteries there and then that charges i've got three batteries here they're older batteries um, i'm actually thinking of trying something i saw online with alum restoring the batteries with alum these are not the best batteries in the world but they do work and they will hold a charge for you know i mean they're at you know, they're, they're over 12 volts right now. I don't have the power on in the cabin yet because I'm wanting to flip the switch and we'll try it together here in a little bit. Okay, of course, you can see the plug coming out there, out of the inverter. And it goes into this pipe. I kind of like running the conduit through the hills. You can see it going there, but um, that way the wire is not exposed. And then when I get closer... So wherever I want to go, I can bury it. But the cabin itself, you'll probably not be able to see it through the trees. Let's see. Well, it's right over there. Anyway, we're up higher than the cabin is a little bit. I had to get up here. This is the only place I can get sun. Because this is like an open area. And... Uh, you get sun up here all day long. So, I could have, I may end up moving these out farther. I don't know, but the shadow only blocks it for a little while in the morning. Earlier, the shadow was over here, and now it's moved up to there. But then, once it goes on up that way, then you get all this sun on it the rest of the day. Of course, in the evening time, I would have to have them tilted the other way. So what I'm going to do, I need to get them up a little bit anyway. Uh, I'm going to put more of the aluminum pieces on the other side, holding it up this way. And I'm going to bolt everything together. It's just kind of sitting there right now. It's not really bolted. Actually, this end right here 
is actually sitting on a log. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that is my setup up here. And also, one thing to vent these batteries, oh, it's rained several times, that's why the batteries are wet. These were actually wet too. This one is probably not good for, it's actually still a little, little bit wet. But this one, it won't hurt. This one is actually weatherproof. Um, it's made for for being outside, so it's fine. Anyway, when you close this now, notice I put a screw right there. So when you close it down, it doesn't close all the way to allow the batteries to vent. But also, you got the little roof there now to let the water run off. That plug, which is plugged into the power inverter, it's taking the 12 volts from the batteries, converting it to 120 volts AC. 120 volts AC is going through this line into that pipe, and it is going through the woods over to the cabin, which you can't see, but it's over there. Okay, so let's go that way. Go to the cabin and check out, and we'll turn the main switch on together. I haven't turned it on yet. Okay, now we are at the cabin. And, let's see. Put the windows propped open because it was a little warm in here. You can tell there's not much sun around here. It's uh, spotty, shady, all that kind of stuff. Which is really nice for a cabin, but it's not nice for... Uh, it's not nice for solar panels. They will not work here very good. So, let's go in. I've not turned this on yet, so I don't know how it's going to work. It's dark in here. Okay. Here we go at the panel. Circuit panel. Uh, I guess I got all the light switches turned on. So... I say we just try it and see. There we go. Light is on. That one is on. And that one is on. Alright then, so we have power in the cabin. I guess you can probably see lights on inside the cabin. Um... The AC power that is coming from the inverter is coming all the way from that box over to here. It's probably, uh, I don't know, right around 100 foot, something like that. Maybe a little more. So maybe 120. It's, uh, it's not super far, I guess, but it seems to me like it works uh, pretty well. Let me switch around where I can see what I'm doing here. All right, so here we are. We've got lights on in the cabin. And I am not, uh, I'm not just getting power from the water generator, but I am also getting power from the solar panels now, which is great because the, uh, the little water generator I think I'm lucky if I was getting 50 watts out of that, but that's 50 watts, like 24 hours a day, you know, but if you're using it during the day and you're running stuff in here, it runs the battery down pretty quick because you're only putting about 50 watts in. And if you're taking any more than 50 watts back out, it's going to run the battery down pretty quick. Now I should be able to, during the day, use whatever I need up to, I think I got a 400 watt inverter. I'll probably get a bigger one. I think I need to get a bigger one to kind of push a little bit more power. It's not good uh, for an inverter to sit and run at a uh, wattage that's close to what it's rated at. Anyway, just a little update on the off-grid cabin. Um, all the, I've got more power now. I have solar actually running the majority of the power, but I still have my water generator because, of course, the solar doesn't work at night. Solar doesn't work on cloudy days. So the little water generator is pretty much a backup. Uh, 
the solar, probably really the main thing. Now, I did lose the ability to run DC appliances directly off the battery at the cabin because I had to, I would not have been able to put the solar panels way over there and run a 100 foot wire over here with DC, uh, probably 30 volts DC because I would have lower voltage by the time it got here, probably almost nothing, and I would have no amps. By the time it got here, it would have lost way too much. The losses are a whole lot less by using AC and running it directly into the panel and just powering everything with the AC line running from the inverter. We don't have any battery power over here, but that's fine. Uh, it will still all work for my needs. It would be more efficient to be able to use 12 volt appliances, but for my needs, for what all I'm going to do with this cabin, uh, this will be more than enough. Anyway, I just spotted something, and I'm going to show y'all. Alrighty, I'm standing on my little, right in front of the cabin, little porch, I guess, whatever you call it. And I'll try it over here, and look what we got. We have some good old red raspberries. These are my favorite kind of raspberries right here. And I guess this is a time of year that one's just uh maybe a little sour i don't know we're going to try them though this is pretty convenient right here being right beside of me look at that we have some nice looking red raspberries oh yeah we'll give these a try Oh, yeah. Love those things. Those are really good. Anyway. Gone now. Anyway. I guess that's probably going about to do it for this video. I appreciate everybody watching. And I will see y'all on the next one. Mm -hmm.